Hey, what's up, YouTube? Memphis Ten here, trying to do a little, uh, a little commentating action right here. Um, this is a rush match, Battlefield Bad Company Two, of course, uh, attacking on Erica Harbor. I'm gonna do my best to commentate this as best as possible and um, try to drag this out because this is a long match. I think uh, the unedited time was like 31 or 32 minutes, something like that. But um, yeah, after editing out all the spawns and a couple of really quick deaths that were just kind of pointless, I think I've cut it down to like 20 or 21 minutes. So probably won't make it through the whole thing, but I will do my best for you. I'll, I'll probably just end it in music or something if I can't make it all the way through it. But anyways, yes, Rush attacking Erica Harbor. I am going to uh, do this as a video video response to Pittit's latest video, Mr. Pittit on YouTube, whatever. Um, he had a video posted entitled Slobber Knockers, explain the meaning of Slobber Knocker and stuff, but uh, knockdown drag out match. This one, I would say falls into that category just from the sheer time that it took. I mean, they don't... I think one set of crates they get us down into like the low teens, like 13 tickets left or something like that. Then I think one's 20. A couple of them we knock out pretty quick. I know that this, these first initial crates we knock out pretty quick. But um, I still would consider this to be a slobber knocker. I, it, it was a, a hard fought battle. Um, they didn't just lay down and I take it by any means. The they, uh, they fought us through till the end. And that, that makes for a good match when um, you can't just set a crate and run off and it blows up. It, it, it's good to see it um, them get a disarm every now and then, make it a little more difficult. But I started out the match in this tank. I, I would definitely never consider myself to be a vehicle driver, especially a tank driver. I mean, there's a lot of times I'll actually uh, get in the tank and go to the gunner seat and just sit there and wait for um, somebody else to jump in and drive for me. I'm not half bad, I think, at the uh, the gunner seat, but as far as the actual driving the tank, doing the can and stuff like that, not not really my forte. Definitely not my uh, my best mode to be in. But I did all right at the very uh, the very beginning there. I, I know I already got the combat efficiency for the six kill streak so far, and then uh, a nice team kill to go along with that, running someone over. Always nice playing hardcore. Here, I, I try to blow this up because uh, I, I'm not even sure why. I think I, I thought that I couldn't drive out that, that gate on the left and I had to blow all this up to drive out. That, that really shows how often I drive a tank anywhere. But I, I end up realizing my stupidity and getting on down there. And I don't think the tank lasts for much longer after this. Um, I run optics all the time as my vehicle perk because the only vehicle I get in on a regular basis is the UAV, which isn't really that often. But uh, like I said, that, that's I don't I don't do a lot of vehicles, so um, never really been that concerned about the vehicle perk. I use optics for the UAV because that makes it more the most efficient in my opinion. But it, it works on the tank sometimes too. Every now and then, when I get in there, and you know, I already have the the optics running, and I'll sit up there and get a couple of kills at least. I think uh, I do have like gold star nine in heavy vehicles. Um, so I mean, I've, I've gotten plenty of kills with them, but really, probably about 75 to 80 percent of those have been in the gunner seat with someone else driving. So I'm I'm just not a good tank driver. But uh, yeah, we uh, I, I hang out up here. I'm, I'm waiting. I keep thinking that I'm about to get blown up because I know none of the squad mates are up there um, repairing me or anything. They're all making their way down there trying to attack, like they should be. Because I'm definitely not playing the objective right now. I'm just kind of sitting back, making sure that I don't run over any anti-tank mines. I know I've become much more what's the word uh, coherent. I guess to the uh, the anti-tank mine since I've started, I've, I've been going for that um that badge or insignia or whatever for the the tank anti-tank mine kills, and um, I've been I've become a lot more aware 
of the fact that they are out there everywhere. If there's tank, if there's tank in the match, and there's more than likely going to be a whole shitload of anti-tank mines out there somewhere. But uh, yeah, I had chased a couple people around. Finally, there I go down, and I don't, I don't, I think that's the last time I touch a vehicle. That guy. Uh, oh, I forget to to add who I'm playing with. Um, this is uh some clan mates in the squad. Cheese, your whiz, rubber revolver. A couple of good guys, real good players. Um, I think the King Benny guy is just some random guy that uh, we opened the squad up to pick up a fourth. Which uh, I think we have a couple other people in here. I don't know why we wouldn't have them in the squad, but either way, the 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 squad's always good to uh, or the the clan is always good to play with. Everybody plays the objective pretty well. Every now and then you'll catch them on the night where they're like, "Oh, hey, don't don't take the crates all all just yet. Let's, let's sit back and get some kills and stuff." That's that's never can be my uh, my outlook on this game. I mean, the name of the game is Rush, is what I always say. I mean, we're supposed to be rushing get this done. If we go through there and run through there and everybody ends up having six kills and four deaths, I mean, who gives a shit? A win is a win. And that's what it is all about. Is the wins. And the camaraderie. And the fun. This is, of course, a very fun game. But, uh, yeah, I finally, uh, I make it in here. Spawn on a squad made who I'm sure Rogue went up there to clear out the, uh, the ceiling area. And I was able to get it armed and spawn cheese is really really good about uh, getting good spawn spots attacking he, uh, he like he likes to be that guy that'll find that that attic or something to hang out in where we keep having um, a good place to spawn in at. As you can see there I thought very seriously about uh, chasing that dude down for his tags but decided against it. Uh, I've also become very good about that about giving up on the tags if I see they're just gonna keep running. I, I don't think that my tag count has uh, subsided by any in any way, but um, I think my death, my KD ratio, has gone up because of it, which is still not great. I think uh, my best one now is the engineer class at like a .71, which has come up from like a .64 or something like that. So even though KD doesn't matter in this game, it still makes me happy to um, bring it up to show improvement, especially after playing a game for so long. To still be improving is a good sign. Especially with the uh, the Battlefield 3 coming up and everything, that's a nice, easy knife with some guy staring at the uh, the upstairs. Can't give up on that one. But uh, yeah, we still uh, we got. I ended up getting the B crate there. Um, nice long distance kill sniper on the construction tower where they like to go. That's something about playing a game for so long is you just get to know where all these people are going to go. Like you're going to have those, those handful of people that are always going to go to the same spot. And I mean you play a game long enough and uh, it doesn't really matter because there's only so many spots you can go to. But the, mo the most common ones are the ones that uh, you always have to watch out for and the ones people always tend to go to. I, I forgot that I did get in this tank for a minute. I'm pretty sure that a guy comes out of that that uh, shed back there and gets on the stationary AT and takes me out with a quickness here. I get it. I at least get one kill before he takes me out though, so it's alright. I'm still working on that Platinum Star. I would like to... I think I'm level 38 or 39 now. I'm, um, I'm not very hopeful to make it to 50 before Battlefield 3 comes out, but I am shooting to hit the, uh, I think it's 42 where I get the gold tags. That, uh, that'll make me happy. It's at least giving me something to shoot for, something to keep playing for. Because I'm not going to lie, this game, I mean, it, it's still all fun. I mean, I still have plenty of fun with it, and I still play it all the time, but uh, I am definitely ready for something new, as I'm sure most people in this community are. To see some new maps and some new gameplay, just bring something new on the scene. It's been too long. But again, I would much rather it take a longer time and be a much better game for, than them to shell out a new battlefield once every whatever, every year, same time every year. So, yeah, I was able to get a armed right there. Um, I think I skipped a death right there. Yeah, I did. I, I spawned into the the shed where A is at. Threw out a health pack for the squad mates in there, and then immediately died. 
but uh, I, I did get the objective destroy for blowing up A because of the teamwork and squad mates holding it down in there for me. So now we're moving on up to um, the next set. I know somebody said something that there's a uh, somebody spawn camping and of course a tank up there. But uh, somebody says something about somebody's back here still in our spawn. I end up um, trying to chase them down and figure out what's going on up there. Because you never want somebody to just be able to sit there and spawn camp you. You gotta uh, do a good sweep before you actually head out and head down there and see what, uh, where everybody's at. I pick up a couple of revives here. I don't even think I, I see the guy that was back here. I'm sure a blue guy ended up taking him out or something. But uh, maybe not. I don't know. There was a sniper shot that just got him. I've also I've been dealing with a glitch quite often with the um, the med kit not or the uh, defibrillator not wanting to go. Like I know there's a time period in between reviving people. Like you can only revive people every once every like five seconds or something. But like I, w I would have had the uh, the defibrillator up for a good while there and pull it out and I have to just sit there and reap the right trigger until it finally revives somebody. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten killed because I can't just run by and hit the uh, the revive. I don't know if y'all can hear that. My vast virus definitions just were updated. It was very loud in my ears. But uh, yeah, we uh, we got the charge set at A on this next set right there. Gonna try to uh, circle around and hold it down. Um, I really like going down here. A lot of people just don't seem to notice me when I'm down here in this bush. And uh, they'll just run past me or something and I'll either shoot them or stab them or something like that. Make sure to keep squad up. People spawn. Also, with taking B, it's really good to come around this back area because people are always sitting right there. That dude was, uh, he was dead from the start. Coming out with three people coming out with their knives. But yeah, coming around uh, under the overpass and taking it down and around to the back side of B, people are constantly looking at where you're spawning at, so they don't they don't take notice of the fact that somebody's coming up behind them, which I'm sure is about to what I'm about to do once again. Probably should have took the long way around with someone shooting at me, but oh well, I'm just going. It's a good thing about running the the uh, medic all the time is I always have a ample amount of health with me. Cheese was going after that guy's tags, and, and he, he probably bitched at me for robbing him, but I very obviously saw that guy turn around and know that we were back there. So he probably would have gotten them. I probably sure honestly say it as well. There's another fault of mine is constantly being on the sprint button, because Battlefield lets you sprint so uncontrollably all the time. And so much, it takes such a longer time to uh, bring that light machine gun up out of, uh, out of a sprint than someone just jumping with a pistol. Cheese, taking some more tags. But uh, yeah, that, that how many? I think we were at 30 attempts when we lost that one. So I mean, it it held us out for a little while. Maybe it could be other people not playing the objective because I seem to be taking all the crates in this match. And I mean, it helps big time. It uh, I know I think I ended up ended this match with like 4,400. Points, something, something around that, uh, that general region. Plus, I think I got a gold star on the um, MG3 a little earlier. So, 4,000 point match is definitely a good match in my opinion. Um, KD, I think I was barely above a one, but that's a, uh, a huge feat for me because, like I said, my my best KD is a uh, .7 with engineer class. I am not a um, not a beastly gunslinger as some people are but uh, I do I do understand how to play the game especially this game they uh, they make it very easy to still get points even when you're not just killing people non-stop which is definitely one of the things that brought me to this game it's being a, a Call of Duty player first the uh, the KD thing was a big deal to me because that's shit really all you can play for in Call of Duty is your KD and uh, I came in th with that same mentality with Battlefield and like, that just instantly changed. But again, I, I'm sure I've said this in other videos, but I haven't I haven't been a Battlefield player for that long of a period of time. I picked up my first copy of Battlefield actually um, 
like the day or right before the Vietnam was released. And like I didn't play the regular Battlefield game till pretty much till I got sick of playing the uh, the Vietnam. Which I mean I'm still wouldn't say I'm sick of it. I don't play it as often. But uh, yeah, that, that's when I first picked up Battlefield. I had one friend that played it, uh, Doc Usher. He's the one that turned me on to it, and we picked up a couple other people. I mean, I can't tell you how many Call of Duty converts that uh, I have brought over here since going to Battlefield. I mean, it seems like every other week there's another person on my friends list. Like, yeah, I'm totally. I picked up Battlefield. I, I don't think I'm ever gonna play Call of Duty again. And Call of Duty's trash. Maybe not to that extreme, but people really see the plus side to this game compared to the Call of Duty game, which I, I, I hate to get into that comparison, but uh, that's always where it seems to go. These are the two, I, I guess, I would say most clo closely related shooter multiplayer games, even though they're not really that closely related, like, game style-wise. But, well, I guess gameplay-wise, maybe just game style, the fact that they're both first-person shooter Man, ultimate multiplayer or whatever. I caught some dude uh, stabbing cheese when I spawned in. That's always nice, nice easy tag to take. Plus, get the revive. That's my favorite. Uh, my favorite move in playing Battlefield is the kill and revive. Like if I'm I'm following a squad mate, I see him go down. I see where he got shot from. Get the kill off that guy, the Avenger kill, and then revive the squad mate. That's that's to me the most fulfilling fulfilling feeling of being a medic. I, I definitely enjoy the kill and revive. Uh, I, I don't think I armed A there. Somebody else made their way over there. I mean, they got us down to... Uh, it's hard to see. It's less than 30 tickets. I can see that. Somebody else, I, I don't know why he wouldn't be rushing to try to disarm the objective. But because he's standing back there thinking he'll get a few kills out of the objective being armed, he gets stabbed. Like every person that's not playing the objective should be stabbed repeatedly as many times as possible. As, as you can see, uh, the the general focus of our clan has always been um, taking tags. Like every, everybody that we play with collectively very much enjoys taking tags. That right there was another situation where um, I tried to revive and it didn't go. So I was going to put the defib up, try to stay alive, but it didn't happen. But yeah, we finally uh, we made it to the last set of crates. And, um, wait a minute, are we on the last set now? Yeah, 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 we're on the last set of crates now. And uh, I don't think they hold us off for too long on the last set. I'm trying to see how much longer of this video I have left. Eh, like three or four minutes. I'm going to see if I can drag it out and ramble on for a little farther. Okay. Uh, yeah, we are. We already got Bravo armed. Somebody got in there quick. Oh, we got both of them armed, but I know they're disarming at least one of those. Because there's no way that it could be. Yeah, they got B disarmed. I found some nice, nice little spot here just to get people going across. But I'm about to get stabbed. There, it happened. It happens sometimes. But that, that's bad awareness. I mean, I paid a hundred and some odd dollars for those turtle beaches to save stuff like that. But I guess when the light machine gun is going off in my ears, it's not as easy to um, hear the footsteps behind me. But here we are in the uh, the back of their base, making our way around. Pick up a couple of revives, get some people all together in the same general area to take this last crate. And as always, playing the objective, move my ass up in there. And that that was that stupid sprint thing again. See, I automatically go for the sprint, and then I can't pull my my machine gun out quick enough. See, that's I'm still playing the objective here, but I'm just making sure there's nobody else up here before I get over here to arm the creep. Somebody else is arming. Luckily, I'm able to come over here, get some kills, keep some people up around the crate, and then I go. And a backup. It's always nice. I I don't know why. Like I, I revive people constantly. Like I, I pride myself on being a great medic. I don't feel like I get revived that often. And it's always a nice feeling when I do. Even if I do die immediately. And I see somebody else doing some good medic. Yeah, I was dead when the actual crate blew. That was the end of the match. That was a good win. Um.
like I said, I ended up with like 4,400 points. Um, KD at 30 and 28. I mean, that's good. Good 30 kill match. Doing some work there. I love I love seeing the pin list being that ridic ridiculously long. You know, especially when it, it's so there's so many pins that you get, it can't even load all of them. And I'm pretty sure I got the ace pin on that one. I think it's going to appear here in a second. Yeah, ace pin, gold squad, of course. Couple of tangs, but all around good match. 